composing gloves here and today we will be making a beat using a lot of or at least the main sound will be done with halftime by cable guys here's a quick preview here's the preview where we're gonna stop That's kind of where it ends right now. Things could definitely be mixed a bit better. Uh, absolutely. I figured the best way to just sort of show it off is to use it. It is something that slows down sound so that it sounds cool and different. All right, you've heard the preview. Let's go ahead and dive into this. The first thing I think that would sound pretty cool through this is a piano. So let's load up a piano. I'm going to grab Keyscape for this guy. Heck yeah, bro. Something like that. Okay, cool. We got our sample. Let's uh, normalize it and pull it on out. All right, cool. Now let's pick a tempo. I'm going to go for like 147 or whatever. And let's grab some drums. You know what we could do, though? I kind of let's stay away from the kick. Let's use Sublab for the kick. Okay, so I have here this pretty dang crazy dark side kick sound. And we're gonna finish out this pattern. And we're just use this as a loop for right now as a stand in. And then let's see if we can't chop this up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this to a track. We're gonna slap a halftime on it. And first off, let's just hear what it sounds like with the halftime on it over here. Oh yeah, it's because we have it on the bar setting. Let's go for like a quarter. Go for two. Let's go. Let's bring this smooth up. This is like kind of how it fades. If I have it down, we get a lot of clicks. You hear it clicking every time. We can make this more of a swirl. Now we can fade it. We can also set a, f a band so like only low frequencies are slowed down or we can make it like high frequencies are slowed down. So this could be really cool. Let's uh, keep this pretty high. I still want a little like a smidge coming through and let's see what like four bars would sound like. Okay, I'm gonna leave the mix at 100% and also the band is gonna be all the way up too. So the whole signal. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. I'm liking this. Let's turn it up. 
Now let's go through, and I'm going to take this, chop it up, and begin to sort of see what we can do here. We're going to need some verb on this, and also we're going to turn on generic bleeding, maybe even smooth bleeding, just to keep our entrances and exits, exits a bit smoother. Let's come over here. Let's find another cool part. I'm just going to do a bunch of this sort of chopping stuff and organizing things so it comes in when I want. It's kind of tedious, but it's got to be done. Let's go into our halftime now. Ooh, I kind of like, like, it's a bit sloppy, but I kind of like it. this I I want to know so let's come in browse parameters I guess we'd have to clone it and make like a separate one with different speeds in order to get the various speeds out this this is pretty nice okay let's dial in our sub lab some now now on on here we need a verb let's add a verb I've been using this one a lot recently Now here, uh, let's clean up the low end because we probably have some stuff down there. So let's grab. All right, what I'd like to do now is add on some keys and also toss that through a um, halftime. So let's try, grab the grander. It's my favorite one. And load that guy up. And we're going to bring the tone to soft, the lid half closed. And let's grab the verb. The Taj Mahal will sound excellent. Give it a sec. For whatever reason, the verb's been acting funny. Look how slow this is loading. Should I click? I'm going to click. Oh, I clicked and everything froze. Oh, there it goes. get that same lick pretty easily so we'll go this is pretty dang freaking cool sounding listen to this okay now i gotta know what halftime will do to it so let's toss a halftime on it mm-hmm mm-hmm Okay, we got to make it louder. Be therefore louder. close um so let's go ahead and toss let's get some symbols going here i'm vibing something like super super dang chill for this snar let's see what we got in our snars i'm kind of tempted to go for this one let's see what this would sound like more color out of the out of the sub lab so I'm just gonna boost it and then on sub lab I'm gonna come in here and mess with this distortion some more and see what I can get
Okay, so I changed the distortion to be tube distortion because uh, I like that more. It brought out the high end a bit be better. I tried all of them. I like this one the most. Let's go ahead and do just a quick arrangement and lead up to where possibly the drums come in. Okay, so I just made a quick adjustment to the notes here. It actually sounds better if I just play a second because of what halftime is doing. It's kind of an interesting result. See? Instead of a minor third, a major second sounded better. If I do a third... I didn't like that as much. This sounds cooler to me, so I'm gonna stick with that one. Uh, but okay, anyways, continuing with the arrangement. I'm, so I did a couple of things. I'm still working on the arrangement, but there's a, this is part of the bass, the 808, and I'm filtering it with a low pass to sort of transition into it. That's sort of the idea. I mean, it's not completely delivered right there. But anyways, just wanted to mention that. Also, bump the notes up right here. Just to make it, again, just help with the transition. Again, another weird note change, um, just as a result of, of the slowing down. It was sort of, hmm, okay, I'll do that. Right here, I think it'd be kind of cool to add a tape stop to everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a tape, a tape stop, tape stop by Kilo Hearts, and then I'm just going to stop it. And then right there, since we're doing this, this should really be softer because it's going to make it sound a lot louder and less impactful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate the volume. When automating volumes, I don't like to automate my faders because then my faders can't be used for volume for mixing later. So that's annoying. So I come in here to the cog and I use this volume control uh, for this kind of stuff just because it's uh, this way my faders are free to do whatever I want with them. So I'm going to make this lower and then we will set it back up over here. That's going to be great. And I actually want to try something out here. I want to see what this would sound like an octave lower. And so here for these, what I'm thinking is, let's pull them all down here and... I want to merge these all into one file without the verb or anything, so just the original content. So I'm going to turn all of this stuff off. And I'm going to put another Edison on it, which just hit Control-E to load an Edison up. We're going to record on play so it's just synced up nice. Cool. Now we're going to take from here to here and we're going to pull this out. And for this bit, I want to do all the same stuff that this has going on, uh, this one. So to do that, I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. We'll get rid of the Edison again. No need to keep Edison's hanging around. But I'm going to save it. There's a way to drag it over. Go to file, save mixer state. We're gonna just drag this to like 17. So okay, now we've got two of them essentially. And now we're gonna put this on 17. And this one will be low. And this half time will be at a times four. And for the first part, we'll do that. And for the second part, we'll do this. Turn all the jazz back on. Normalize it, turn it way down.
I think I'm gonna simplify this part out right here. I think it's just a little too complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that more. So maybe on this last bit, I'll keep this, the everything. I'm gonna do this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit, uh, was it Shift G, Control G? There we go. And it merges them into a new group, and I'm gonna adjust the lengths of these so that if there's they're the right length I want. Okay, okay, okay. I'm digging that. Uh, let's keep going here. So, all right, I'm also going to add on a stereoizing plugin. Let's try out X. So X by Typewriter Audio, really great plugin. So uh, let's look at this jazz. We'll go for something crazy like pad. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here because it is just getting a little late. I gotta wake up early tomorrow. So without further ado, here's the preview where we're gonna stop. That's kind of where it ends right now. Things could definitely be mixed a bit better. Uh, absolutely. I didn't toss any uh, limiter on at the end too. That might have helped with the, with it a little bit. Just as a mock-up master kind of a thing. But you can see where I'm going. You can see the ideas that are developing. I definitely would probably toss in a couple more textual things to, to keep a sense of just this really lush atmosphere. Maybe like a children's choir or something. But uh, yeah, I was very impressed actually with uh, Halftime. So on Plugin Boutique, right now, I think it's like 12 bucks. There's like an affiliate link down below. There's also a bunch of deals going on. Yeah, so there's a bunch of deals going on at Plugin Boutique right now. Uh, I've bought actually quite a number of them in the past. And so, yeah, just so you're aware, just crazy stuff. A lot of these things, quite a few of them, I think are really worth it. Other ones, you know, you might wait and wait off. Hey, look, there's Sublab, 43% off. So there you go there. And uh, yeah, halftime is an amazing grab. They've also got um, Grow Speed on sale right now, which is very similar to halftime. Grow Speed does um, it does more. It does different stuff, and, it, and its interface is different. I think halftime is easier to use because I mean, you pop it on there, and then it's just you're getting results banging right out the gate. So for that reason, I actually think I will reach for halftime more than I will Grow Speed as things as I do more with it. So if we look up halftime, see it's top rated, it's hot. You know what it is. Oh, look at that. It's 971, even better. So yeah, there'll be an affiliate down below. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.